to transmit a second alarm and start relocating companies into the area. The World Trade Center, tower number one, is on fire. The whole outside of the building was just a huge explosion. From what I remember, I just remember the teacher turning on the television and then the moment the, the plane strike the, the building, I just saw a bunch of smoke and then I was really curious about what happened. I remember waking up and everything was chaos. It was falling buildings on the news and my whole family was devastated. I have lots of family on the East Coast and we couldn't get a hold of them. My grandma ended up taking me to school that day and basically my whole school stopped because it was devastating. Well, I was a seventh grader when 9-11 actually happened. Uh, it was early in the morning. The only thing I remember is jets flying and kind of like a ruckus in the background. And then, you know, when I actually got to turn on the TV, you know, we saw the, the Twin Towers burning and crumbling down to the floor. And then I was just, just devastated inside. I didn't know what to make of it. I don't remember anything really except that my parents and my teacher were really sad and depressed. I remember waking up, my parents actually waking me up in the morning and um, having me turn on the TV because uh, something really bad had happened in New York. Didn't know what to think, I didn't know what to believe, or didn't even know what to do next. I was actually my first year in college and didn't know if I should go to school, I didn't know if I should leave, but we all sat um, in quiet at my house um, looking at what had happened in the plane. I remember actually turning on the TV right as the second plane. Um, crashed into the second um, tower. I remember a phone call from a friend of ours at early in the morning um, and my husband answered the phone and his friend said that somebody had run into the Twin Towers and that a plane had run into the Twin Towers and I looked at my husband and I said you gotta be kidding I, I don't understand why would a plane hit the Twin Towers like was the pilot not paying attention? How does a pilot not pay attention and hit the Twin Towers? I, I, I didn't understand. What I remember was just sort of watching it. And initially when I, when I saw the towers collapsed on the news, I didn't actually see them collapse. I, I saw that it happened a few minutes later. I was sitting there and they were, the initial death estimates were like, oh, there's probably 10,000 people dead. And I remember telling myself that there was no way that that was the case, that it had to be 20 or 30,000 dead, that if you knocked over a skyscraper in New York City at 10 o'clock in the morning, that, you know, tens of thousands of people would die. Hi, Mika Brzezinski here reporting from PS89. It's uh, near the scene of the now collapse of what we believe to be the tower number one of the World Trade Center. I was standing with CBS News correspondent Byron Pitts. We were coordinating our crews in a crowd of people near the corner of Murray Avenue and the West Side Highway when the collapse occurred and literally plumes of smoke and gases as the collapse happened, I'm sure you're seeing in the video, began to roll our way and that is when the crowd went wild. People just began to run. Our live trucks shut down, crews were running, reporters were running, people were running, and the cops literally were just waving their arms saying, go, go. One of the things that I really remember about 9-11 is the response by just common citizens afterwards, just it really bringing us together as a, um, it was a bonding experience. I'd never seen so much patriotism in all of my life. You know, everyone still feels like a sense of sadness that's subtle but still kind of there. It was definitely a big event in history and it, it shaped the, the way the United States functions in the world now. Um, I feel very touched by it. A lot of people had to die unfortunately but definitely op opened our eyes to a lot of terror and a lot of um, hatred out there. It definitely is still strong in my heart and still strong in my life. I mean it's just a sad thing but I was too young to really realize what happened until maybe like five years later. And looking at what our students know, my 18 year olds, they were seven years old at this time. You know, I teach our University 100 freshman programs this year, and as an 18 year old freshman in college, they have, I, I think most of them have very little recollection. I think some of them do have a recollection. I know one of the um, young children on my street actually collected cans. Someone who's younger is going to experience it much differently than, than I would have. Um, and just sort of, for them, it will have been a, a constant 
almost in their political and social life. 9-11, as far, almost as far back as a lot of young people today can remember, had always had happened. I think it is important to know where we came from, what we've gone through, and to remember that we're in it together.